You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have a, a special young lady with us this morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> Comedian Lunell. Yo. Now let the record show Lunell uh, asked me to undress her this morning. No, you okay. did. So if it ever comes out later that I, I she didn't give me consent. No, me too over here. Huh? <laughs> Pull my sleeve. Pull it what? Out. Oh, okay, okay. Like you ain't never undressed a bitch before. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me to. Okay. All right. And we always do what we're asked to do, don't we, Charlamagne? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Be a good boy and mommy don't have to spank you. <laughs> Now, I walked outside and I heard uh, Charlemagne say, wax shit nasty. And then I heard Lunell yell out, I like him nasty. Yes, child, nasty is good. <laughs> People ain't nasty no more. They can't be. They get in trouble nowadays. Especially uh, comedians. Well, you be nasty with your mate. You know, yeah. be nasty with your, with your partner. Mm. That's what happens. You get in these relationships, you quit being nasty. Now there go your man out the motherfucking door after the next nasty bitch. You should have stayed the nasty bitch you was when he met you. you. So you think that's what it is? You think women are just afraid to be freaks nowadays? I don't think they're afraid. I just think that, well, I think a lot of women are uh, inhibited. Okay. Especially maybe some of my big sisters out here because you feel like, oh, you know, this shit ain't tight and this is rolling and all that. And it is. But you just got, there's a whole crew of motherfuckers out there who love that shit. Yeah. I know, I got one. It's going to be skinny for sure. You got you a man that loved the, what, the rolls? He's married. Oh, you married? Okay, I'm even I've been married for 17 years. On the low. On the low. Don't tell the boys that. (laughs) On the low. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I keep it on the low. I don't put my husband on social media, no pictures, because... If they do that face recognition in the penitentiary, we're fucked then. <laughs> there he goes, back to the yard. Do you it? still enjoy comedy? You know, because it, it seems like comedy's gotten a little tighter now where you, there's certain things you say now, you get in trouble. I don't get in trouble for saying anything. I say absolutely everything that's on my mind, but I've been that way for 30 years. Mm-hmm. They call me the original bad girl of comedy. I've had a mouth on me since the gate. I think it might have helped me back then. I was even too dirty to be on Def Jam, if you can believe that. I never really? did. And I'm swole about that. Studio 54 and Def Jam, I never got to experience in New York. I'm dead. Oh, they told you that? They was like, yo, you too? No, nah, they didn't tell me, but they just didn't never let me do it. I'm the only fool that came through that era that didn't do Def Jam. But I did nine seasons of Comic View, which is way cleaner than Def Jam was. They just was hating, just hating on me. But, um... I made it despite that, Mm -hmm. and the times have changed. So now, you know, my sort of style of genre is almost missing a really blue female who is what they call guy funny. You know, not just funny to the women, but funny to the dudes, too. It makes me very happy to look out there and see men bent over and spitting out their drink and stuff like that because men come not expecting to enjoy a female comic. You come just to appease your God, go see this broad. But when you really kill it, mm-hmm. that's why they call me El Murder. That's my El nickname. Murder. El Murder. Lunel, the L is for Lunel Murders because I'm killing these bitches out here. <laughs> and um, so that's why when I when 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 guys come in and they they see me and I see them having a great time, it's wonderful. To answer your question, yes, I do still enjoy comedy. <clears throat> Excuse me, comedy. Not I, I. Everybody knows that I have a problem with the with the insta fame, quote unquote comedians. I wish just wish there was another name for them besides comic because you know when I think of comics. I'm thinking of Lenny Bruce and you know R- Rodney Winfield and Robin Harris and Pryor and Cosby and Joan Rivers and Miles Mabley. Those are comics to me. But, you know, just because you have 387,000 likes does not a comic make. You haven't done anything. That There's beauty in the struggle. Mm-hmm. Sure, everybody wants to make it fast and quick, you know? But there's beauty in the struggle. What stories are you going to be able to right. tell, you know, uh, uh, that led up to your legacy? Not. <laughs> you know, you're not going to have no stories to tell. Is oh, because I got so many likes and they picked me up from YouTube and I got my own show and that was 15 years ago and now nobody knows who the fuck I am anymore. Isn't it other? Isn't it like another form of comedy? Like you got stand up. You got. It some is comedians. another form of comedy. Yeah, comedy. So, some comedians are funny on TV. Some in movies. Some in online. Right. Yeah, you know, I mean, it is a genre for sure. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm 
just as prone to do a video as anybody else. But I'm not basing and hoping my career on that, you know. Right. But I'm already established. These kids got to get in however they fit in, and I ain't mad at them. It's just that when you have to serve it up, when you have to get off Instagram and go into a club, and you got 350 people looking at you like, what you got? Then you need to have something behind that. Because, you know, that time's going to run out, you're going to look fucking stupid. Does it, does it yeah. bother you that, that a lot of these, I guess, Insta comedians are, are getting people in the buildings and getting a lot of money or, and, and they're not really funny at times? Yes, of course it bothers me and not only me. I'm just one of the people who speak out about this shit because I'm not a fake bitch. You know, I, <laughs> I, 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 I know it bothers a, a lot of us OGs because they're getting paid more than us. And it's not even, I don't do it for the money, but I certainly would like to get compensated for being one of the bad ones out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when you see people just do, you know, buying houses and shit, and they've been on YouTube for like three years, it's like, this is bullshit. So I'm not gonna lie and say it don't bother me. It bothers, me, it bothers a lot of people, but I don't know who's gonna say it, but I will. You know what I hate? I hate that uh, comedians are being so politically correct nowadays, because y'all don't have to be. I don't, and I'm not. And, and you know, I was out in Nyack. I wasn't in Brooklyn. And my audience was like 80% white. And I guarantee you I didn't change nary word because <laughs> I can. You know, I can go entertain the Jewish, you know, city council as well as go to the YMCA and do a show. But I don't change it because my subject matter is mostly child relationship and sex-based, mm -hmm. which is universal. Mm -hmm. Anybody white, anybody Latino, anybody trans, anybody anything can come to my show and they're going to fall out laughing because everything is universal. My my audiences are like on a cruise ship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you just come to have fun and you're sitting next to Joe Bob, who's sitting next to Jamal, who's sitting next to Becky, you know, and everybody's all there together. And that's what I like being able to do. Now, we had uh, Monique up here a couple of months ago. And we were talking about her Netflix special. What, what did you think about that? Because you're an OG comedian. I saw the picture you posted on Instagram. You said, Netflix, I'll take that goddamn money. Yeah, I will take that <laughs> money. Let's be clear. But um, first of all, I've said, and I say at the beginning of my shows on stage, no matter what you think about her, no matter what you've heard about her husband, that is all irrelevant. She's fucking right. Like, we're underpaid. Uh, Angela Bassett has said the same thing. Uh, Viola Davis has spoke on it as well. And, you know, every now and then, I like to see somebody who don't give a fuck and they just name name, call people on their shit, and let the chips fall where they may. Mm -hmm. Now, I wouldn't do it like that, you know. But she's <laughs> there. I'm going to leave that to her. But, um, you know, two years from now, she'll do something else amazing. They'll be all on her dick again. I've seen this a hundred times, you know what I mean? You go down, you come back up. But somebody had to speak on the issue. At least the issue is being spoke about now. Right. And so that, I, I thank her for that. So what happens when the next, uh, like, what is it say, like somebody like a Tiffany Haddish, when she gets paid from Netflix? Well, she's gotten paid. She's gotten paid, Netflix. yes, yes. Well, Tiffany is a friend of mine, I like to think, and I think that she is um, riding the fucking wave right now. What you gonna do? Not take the money? Goddamn right. You know, and uh, the wave don't always last forever. So you better grab it. She's cute. She's young. She's perky. She's quirky. She acts kind of stupid, but she ain't stupid. Not at all. At all. And she, I really don't think that the Illuminati going to be able to come for her without her snitching them out. <laughs> she's, holding her, she's holding on to that Beyonce bite story pretty tough. But I think if the Illuminati come and Tiffany had it, they going to be the fuck with the wrong bitch because she going to... Put up, Do you know these motherfuckers came to me talking to me about that bullshit, that, you know? And I, I just don't think she's going to change. I think she's going to remain the chick that she is, you know? I agree, too. Do you, Which you, is refreshing. Yeah. And, and plus, she older, though, so it's not like she she knew, you know what I mean? Right, she, she didn't around. just, yeah, she didn't just pop up, but that's what it looks like, you know? Yeah. She just popped up out the sky. No, you can Google her and go back, see Tiffany doing shit and poorly dressed. You're poorly dressed. <laughs> Like we all were. <laughs> now you like, pose, you pose naked. Yeah, for penthouse. For no. real? Google the picture right now. Man, Do your homework. No, let me see. What I got to Google? Lunel Lunel naked? Lunel penthouse. You want to see them black and white? Yeah, no, he want to see it in color. Oh, let me, let me see. Color. I want to see that melanin. Let me see. <laughs> That's not all you want to see. Now, why'd you decide to pose naked? <laughs> well, because they said okay. You know, <laughs> they I said had, okay? Yeah, I had already directed a photo shoot for penthouse 
It was a series they had called Pop Shots. Mm-hmm. Stevie J did one. Mm-hmm. I did one. Dave Navarro did one. And uh, you get to pick the models you want. And they give you a mansion, and you can be in the pool, in the bed, on the kitchen. And all that. So we took over the mansion, and I got everybody I wanted. I wanted a boy who looked like Fabio. We got my boy Alejandro. <laughs> I wanted a chocolate sister. The light-skinned bitches get all the shine, so I wanted a dark-skinned sister. Of? Yeah, and then I wanted a, a red-haired white girl, not a blonde or brunette, and I got See, look at that. Go it took three hours, three hours to do that graffiti on on my back. Go that ahead, ain't ever. now. See them titties? That's right. <laughs> they real? Yeah, they real feel them. No, no. Don't be scared. <laughs> no, no. If you're scared, go to church, no. Charlemagne. <laughs> Because somebody going to screenshot the picture with just me with my hands on you. I'm going to get a T-shirt to say, I gave permission. <laughs> I gave permission. Did Penthouse pay good? Um, no, mm. unfortunately, they did not. But the uh, and I thought that. See, I want that that picture with the graffiti on my back. I want that to eventually hit the jumbotron in Times Square. Mm-hmm. You never know. Hell, I might host New Year's Eve, Rock and Eve one day down there. You never know. And then that, that everything is possible. Right. Everything is possible if you believe. The Bible say that. There you go. Now, um, you know that Remy bring out the scripture in the bitch. I see, and even in these pictures in penthouse, you had your cup of yak. Yeah, I did. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> now, I saw you on DJ Vlad saying Courtney Kardashian was racist. Why do you think Courtney racist? Well, I take that back. Okay, I don't think she's racist. But why'd you think it? Um, why did I think you was drinking? Yeah, I was probably high off them edibles or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think that child is racist. Mm-hmm. I really feel bad for her because Lamar really was the love of her life. Oh, you talking about Chloe? Oh, who you talking about? Oh, Courtney? Yeah. The little one? No, she the oldest. Isn't no, Courtney I'm talking about the little one is a racist. Little. Kylie. <laughs> no, not her. Kendall. Courtney. No, no Courtney's the little three one. Three There's with ten Rob. of them bitches. <laughs> Who do you it might be another one. She's talking about the one that had the two babies with Scott Disney. That's what she's Pulled talking about. Pulled him out of Courtney. pussy on TV. Yeah, 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 Courtney. She's a G for that, though. Why what? you think she races? Oh, because, okay, one time they had an episode <laughs> where the Kardashians were going to go down to Skid Row mm-hmm. and see what they could do to help, mm-hmm. which is nothing. But anyway, they went down there for the scene, for the show. Right. And the little racist said... She was doing stuff. She said, well, why do you care? I said, you bitch. And that's why I said that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Def Comedy Jam, you said you never did it, right? Never did it. So when you heard the allegations about Russell, Russell, how'd you feel? I. How do I handle this? Take a sip. Take a sip first. Take a sip. <laughs> Let me sip, Take my- a sip first. Take a sip first. Take a sip first. <laughs> Take a sip first. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, now. Now, ask the question again, Charlamagne. Now, nah, so you didn't do Def Comedy Jam, so when you heard the allegations about Russell, how did you feel? Well, that had nothing to do with me not doing Def Jam. That was the work of Bob Sumner, who used to cast the... My guy, Bob. Comedy. I know Bob. Mm-hmm. It's my man. Yeah, I used to get weed for Bob when he come to Oakland. How about that, Bob? But he would never put you on Def Comedy Jam. No. Mm. But that's okay. Um, um, well, there's things that I know. Uh-oh. And there's things that I probably shouldn't say on your very popular radio slash television show. But I'll tell you something in your ear when we get off here. And I just know them allegations, they probably going to stick. God damn. damn. No. Jesus Christ. You might as well just say what you know now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me see. Get pour some more Remy, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. don't ply me with alcohol. <laughs> Give me something right in here. <laughs> it's exactly how I lied. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> what was the question? Ask the question again, Charlamagne. Oh, oh, I'm not going down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me something else. You're going to get me murdered before I get up out this. <laughs> what do you think about other comedians uh, critiquing other comedians publicly, like saying they're not funny and stuff like that? Faison came up and he said Dave Chappelle wasn't funny at one time. I think Michael Blackson was, you know, had his little stuff with, with Kevin Hart. Well, if I was to do that, I'd have beef with everybody. <laughs> so I don't do, I don't really, I just, the only people I ever really talk about is the millennial social media comedians. That's it. Mm-hmm. I don't really hate on 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 my fellow comedians because we're really all in the same gang. Right. You know, and we should, 
I think the older comics do show some loyalty. Now, Faison, you know, his old fat, bitter ass, he done talk, came up here and talked shit about me before, too, but I just let it roll off my back, and then I he called did, him. Did he? Yeah, he said, I, I think it was, a, no, was he here? I might have been on Sway. Sway. What'd he say? Yeah. Oh, just some old stupid shit, you know, something that's totally, uh, uh, ain't got shit to do with nothing. I don't pay a phase on no mind. We've been friendly for years. I done got pussy for phase on, so he need to shut the fuck up when it comes to me. And let's just all play nice in the sandbox and be friends. And he'll probably watch and say, that bitch ain't never got no pussy for me. Well, you don't think he gets it on his own, do you? <laughs> <laughs> No, you um. Now I'm in trouble. So. Now you are. Right. You fine. Now, now the shit gonna go down. You fine. That fat funky bitch fuck Lou now. <laughs> what else you got, bitch? I'm fat. You ain't got no more dicks than that. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, Tori Hart. Uh, she she said that she's cool with side chicks. Would you be okay with your husband having a, a side chick? No. 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 Ask what I'd be okay with me having a side piece. Would you be okay with having a side piece, Lou now? Why you look out the window? Is he? Because my husband's there? right out there. Uh oh. But the nigga that I want to give it to is right over there with them Tim's on. That's my Fuck. man Wax. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Wax on, Wax off. Tell Wax to come in. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Leave him there. Leave him there. <laughs> Leave him there. Tell him come here real uh, quick. I make my top lip uh, moist. Tell him come here. Uh-uh. He make me sweat on my top lip. Don't <laughs> tell do him come that in. to tell him. Come here. Tell him come Don't come do that. See, my husband stays in his he lane. He can't hear. He can't hear. He can't I know hear. that. He can't hear no way. He oh. Wax, wax, wax it down Lunel, for Lunel want to give you uh, some pussy, man. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't say that. You can handle it. You can handle, you can handle it. I didn't say that, but it's absolutely accurate, and you're probably accurate as well. Yeah. She's like, she said she's like, I'm nasty. How nasty? Real nasty. How nasty? Tell me something. That's how the phone sucks. You don't something. like to eat ass. <laughs> oh, well, then forget it. <laughs> 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 I got to have that. Got that? <laughs> yeah, I got to have it. I got to have it. So you like your butt eating? Well, my ass is sweet, I've been told. I mm -hmm. stay very clean. I'm a bath girl. I believe that pussies and booties should go under fucking water. I get it. Yeah, but that's like, but when you wash If you smelt my ass crack right now, you would go, oh, shit. Wax, smell it and let's see. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Let me see what you got. Back it up on him one time, Luna. <laughs> see, you ain't really nasty. Can't see. Let me see. Back it up on him one time. Ooh. Ooh, smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Tell me what that day smell like. What that booty do? You're in trouble. I'm in trouble too. It's all over. We may as well make a plan because we're both fucked now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, thanks, Wax. Oh, look at him now. Just all moist and stuff Ooh, now. My top lip is sweating. Yeah. Now, oh, I would give him the business, that motherfucker right there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it wrong. I love my motherfucking husband. I love him like a motherfucker. I yeah. kill a bitch about that motherfucker. But, you know, have you ever I don't cheated? mean I don't want to fuck wag, so. Have you ever cheated on your husband? Yeah. He knows? Why are you saying it like that? Like, duh. Because we were separated for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, we've been married 17 years, but all them years wasn't in a row. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, We yeah, had yeah. a little summer siestas. I like how you clean that up. Time. Yeah. I'm clean, <laughs> Charlamagne. Now, I don't know about that bath thing, though, because when you're under the water, the bath gets dirty. I take bath showers. Okay. I take bath because I, I, I usually bathe in bath salts and all that, and I can't leave that on my skin because... I would start to itch. So I take a bath and I swim around and all that. And I stand up and I wrench, wrench off and I be squeaky clean. Word. Now, now you were uh, Wendy Williams comedy coach too, right? I was. There was a comedy coach too. What, what did you do? Well, it was amazing how it even came about because just the day before I got the call, Chris Rock was on the show. And I'm like, she could call anybody in the world right. and get them. To, mm -hmm. But she called me. That was a blessing. Mm hmm and see, Wendy did it right. She hired somebody to help. She would do a comedy like in the studio mm -hmm. at night, you know, to the on, um, to the crew and stuff. And then she would send me tapes, and I would critique and send send my 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 comments back. And then when she did the show in Vegas, lipstick, then I was there. And then when she did the show in New Jersey in J Pack, then I was there too, and I was actually on the bill with her. 
But don't you gotta like hit them comedy clubs though? Because if you doing a comedy, no, you crew, stay the fuck out the club. See, Wendy don't <laughs> need that. She got her own built-in audience already. Wherever she go, it's gonna sell out. Got you. So she don't need to fuck with the club. Leave the clubs for real. Comics who are working out. She did her shit in theaters. If you're Wendy, why not do a theater? Why are you ass in the club? Did you consider her a friend? Well, she's not real friendly like that. Okay. She's friendly, but only to a point. She does that thing, that social distance type thing. So um, what I could say, no, a friend I could call to answer the phone. A friend I could call and ask for money. Wendy ain't neither one of them. Did, that, did you see it when you when she passed out? What did you think of that? Well, I thought it was uh, terrible, but I sure want to go out like that. You want to go out like mean? that? I want to drop right on stage in front of everybody. <laughs> Fuck it. Go out with a bang. Go viral, bitch. That's how you want to die? <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Come on, stop. Yeah. Right You'd rather on die on stage. Do you know there's a thing on YouTube, you know, stars who died right before the audience's eyes? The whole slew of people. I could be on there. Would you rather die on stage or on Wax's face? On stage. Fuck Wax. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where you, where you at this weekend? Where you at coming up? I'm in Denver. No, Dayton. I'm in Dayton. Dayton, Colorado. Okay. Where is it? Dayton, Dayton Ohio? Ohio. She don't know. Dayton, Ohio. God damn it. Hey, look, I'll fucking Remy for breakfast, bitch. What you expect? <laughs> Give him a website or something. Uh, God damn. Just go to HeyLunel.com. H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L.com. And then you can find out my schedule. If you want to write me on Instagram or Twitter and say how much you thoroughly enjoyed this broadcast, you can hit me on Instagram or Twitter at Lunell, L-U-E-N-E-L-L. Any oh. positive words you want to leave us with before we no. go? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Lou no, don't be a stranger, okay? Please, <laughs> please come back. Yes. I gotta tell you, I'm so excited to be sitting here in this seat with so many asses have sat before, and I always say, God damn it, don't the Breakfast Club want to talk to me? Yeah. I want to talk to them. And lo behind, I got to send a shout out to my girl Claudia Jordan, Salute who sort of got the uh, ball rolling. And for my boy Eddie F, thank you for you know responding finally to our emails and uh, <laughs> hollering at your girl. So my publicist, Mary Moore, thanks you. My manager, William Lee, I thank you. You know that's Eddie over there, right in the corner over there. Is that you in the corner? Yeah, that's the guy that wasn't responding to you. Motherfucker, use a slow email at responding. I ain't scared because you over there. I'm supposed to be scared. (laughs) I ain't scared, Eddie F. Is you that music producer, Eddie F guy? Oh, you the fake Eddie F. (laughs) He ain't even who we thought he was. (laughs) 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 It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 